Days 50 to 52, Spokane, Washington and Yakima, Washington. So day 50 started at my boondocking place um, around Glacier and um, it was cold at night. When I was in Jackson, I already got myself a second sleeping bag and I started using it in Glacier. So um, as I woke up and got out of the car in the morning, I was scraping ice off of it. And I was like, okay, I guess I need to get moving somewhere with less elevation and a little bit more south because it's getting cold. So I took uh, one good last look um, at my beautiful camping spot and uh, my neighbors, the guys um, with the school bus, there were three people there and every morning they were doing yoga and uh, drinking their coffee on the roof of the school bus. And um, the guy in the bright jacket over there is the bicycle guy who was training for biking through South America. So you pick up and um, you drive a little bit south uh, again along the beautiful Flathead Lake and um, out west um, through the rest of Montana and through the panhandle of um, Idaho and it was beautiful. So Idaho is definitely on my list uh, of places to visit during the next trip. And um, then I, towards the afternoon, I got to Spokane, Washington. And um, I really liked Spokane. It's a very nice small town with a lot of um, cute things to do. It was raining. And because it was raining, I had to give up on going to the North Cascades National Park because um, over there it was gonna rain for the next couple of days and it means rain and at the higher elevations it means snow. So I guess for next time. So I spent um, a very nice day and a half in Spokane. I needed to restock and do laundry and uh, get a car wash to wash um, all the dust of the Grand Teton and the Yellowstone and Glacier from Gracie. And I also had lunch at this cutest place called Bark, the Rescue Bub. And um, all the proceeds go to the local animal rescue. And you can also um, go and play with the dogs and cats that they offer up for adoption. And then the next day, I moved out from Spokane further west towards Yakima, Washington. And the road takes you at some point along the shores of Columbia River. It was the beautiful sunny day and the sky reflected in the river. I did not touch the pictures. This was the actual color of the sky and of the water, and it was just gorgeous. But the wind was insane. And then I drove to the other shore of the river to something called the Petrified Forest, which is a remnant of the Jinko Forest petrified during a volcanic eruption. And the wind was literally almost blowing me off my feet. And uh, when I got into the local souvenir shop, they had this cat and I didn't realize it was a real live cat until it moved. So that was very cute. And then the road um, takes you further towards Yakima Valley. And on the way you pass these endless, like really endless mile after mile after mile um, apple orchards and that's when you realize that this is where the famous Washington State apples are coming from and also the views of the valley are beautiful and once you go over the pass you get to the town of Yakima, Washington which was small and cute it had a surprising number of homeless and druggies even though it's like a small place in the middle of nowhere even Target had a full to the brim needle um, dispensing, well, not needle dispensing, but whatever, needle garbage. And um, they have a very nice arboretum with a beautiful Japanese garden. So I had a great time just strolling around there and enjoying the air and the trees and the sunset. And for the first time since my teenage years, 
I saw a walnut tree and um, it had walnuts so I actually probably did something illegal but I couldn't help myself I picked a few and I opened them up and I ate um, fresh walnuts and that was the most enjoyable thing ever I hadn't done it for years so that's my experience in Spokane and Yakima